the IQ Easy Manager has an uh, LCD display with uh, 256 colors. It shows all the information about all of the connected devices. If we look at the screen, you can see six positions where we can show devices. In this case, we have connected three devices, the anti-static bar, performance IQ Easy, a charging generator, CM IQ Tiny, and a sensor, IQ Easy sensor. And the other three positions, they don't have any devices. So if we look at the screen, the majority of the screen uh, will give you information about all of the connected devices. On top of the screen here, we have two other buttons which will show you information about the manager itself. First, let's have a look at the anti-static bar, the Performance IQ Easy. When I um, touch the button, it will give you information screens about the Performance IQ Easy. Um, you can see here on the right side of the screen, it has five pages and I am on page one of five. I will go through all of the pages to show you the information which is on the pages. If I want to go back to my main screen, I will have to push the home button and then I am back on the main screen where you can see and overlook all of the connected devices. So at first we will go back to these screens. So we had these five information screens, but also on top here you can see five tabs on which you help also have information about this particular device. We have the information. The information screen can change to a setting screen by pushing this little button here. Then at first I have to change from my user level. Standard, I am in a basic user level, which means I cannot do any settings. Uh, there is an advanced user level. Uh, in the advanced user level, we can change some of the settings, like set points, for instance. And in the expert user level, I can change all of the parameters. So I am going to enter expert user level now. And then at the right, I can see all of the parameters that I can change. This parameter, for instance, is the device name. The user can change the device name. It's now performance IQ easy. But if I want to add some, some other characters, for instance, this is Performance IQ Easy 1, I have entered it in my screen. I can say, OK, I want to save it, and now it says Performance IQ Easy 1. I can also um, select the machine position. I can clear all what's in there by the backspace. And I can uh, enter a new machine position, for instance, roll one, enter, and then it's stored into the device. So that's what we do on all of these pages. I will show you later all of the, the rest of the pages. I will go to the tabs now. All of the tabs show some uh, information. We just changed from information to settings. The next tab is the graphics screen. It will show you per device some of the parameters that are important to this device. For instance, for the Performax IQ Easy, it's the downstream um, static level, it's the ionization current, and it is the efficiency of the anti-static bar. The action log, it will tell you what has happened into the system. It will show you all kinds of warnings and alarms. In this case, uh, it already has given me a lot of clean bar warning alarms. You can also see it by this little signal here, this little button. It shows me that there is a uh, constant clean bar warning alarm. The next step is data log. Here I can have a brief overview of all of the parameters that are logged into the device and which are also accessible by the Ethernet port or in later stages the USB port. And the last tab is maintenance. Here I have some 
maintenance actions that I can do, like clearing the action lock, clearing the data lock, a web voltage peak reset, restore to factory settings, or calibrate bar. When I go back to my settings, I can show you the next few screens that are available for the static bar. Here you see the web peak voltage, ionization efficiency is currently 66%, the ionization currents minus 17 and plus 19, and the difference between the ionization current is 2 microamps. The clean bar warning level is set to 81%, and you can see the actual uh, ionization efficiency is 66%, so this means this is the reason for the warning that we have seen in the previous screen. There is a last clean bar warning. There is no warning inside now because we haven't cleared it yet. Data logging is off. The next screen is 3 of 5. It holds some information that we need for some settings. Uh, the mounting distance, the web width and the web speed. Uh, here it says paired sensor. Um, and the available segments of these sensors and enable segments. The fourth screen is last calibration date, balance offset, auto run, remote and off source, favorite screen position and graphic refresh time. And the last screen is only information, the time the device has been running, the country where it's made and the current firmware version which is inside of the anti-static bar.